My name is Dr. Olu Babaduro. I'm a faculty member and the program coordinator here at Higginson Community College for the Mechanical Engineering Technology Division. And one of the aspects you see in our everyday world is advancement of technology. And one of those attributes can be attributed to materials or material selection. One of the courses that I actually teach here at HCC within the Mechanical Engineering Technology Division is Strength of Materials. And that is nothing more than a, a branch of engineering that allows us to study the behavior of solid objects subjected to a stress or strain. For instance, we have what we call a universal tester machine here that allows us to do tensile testing, compression, and bending. In this case, we have a tensile setup whereby we have a dog bone specimen made out of polymer. And we want to be able to understand when we induce a load, which will give us the stress, how does that material respond geometrically in the strain component? So therefore, understanding the relationship between stress and strain graphically allows us to extract information about this material, such as ductility, we have the yield point, we have the ultimate strength, and the point at which it breaks. That information and much more allows us, when we're building a structural application, allows us to judiciously choose what kind of material they can actually be used for this application in terms of sustainability. Technologists are really the link or the glue between engineers, fabricators, and an assembly team. The idea that fluid can be either liquid or gas gives us the opportunity to be able to build systems either hydraulic or pneumatic around that definition. In this case, in this setup right here, we have a pneumatic system whereby we have a conditioning unit whereby compressed air comes into this conditioning unit. And the whole idea for this particular setup really is students to understand how you can use a pilot operated valve system to be able to actuate or control a piston. Now, in this case, as you can see, this setup is being bypassed. So if I were to initiate this operation, as you can see, there's really no control over the extension or attraction of this particular piston. Now, if I were to change this operation around, using this as a medium as to how we're using airflow as a mechanical force in the midst of a spool system, now, I can extend the piston and I can also retract it. And students are typically responsible for understanding how each individual component of the system works and how it works together as an assembly. Here we have, this, is, this circuit is in series, meaning that these pistons operate in a series mechanism. So we have here to my bottom right we have a pump that is actually flowing through this system and we have a by control valve that allows us to move the piston or extend the piston and retract the piston at the same time but if you notice that by these pistons being in series they do not travel at the same speed so the job of the student really is to be able to critically think through the process and understand why these pistons, when they're in series, they do not travel at the same speed. Another branch of our mechanical engineering technology course is machine design that we talk about here at Hagerstown Community College. And this particular course utilizes all the concepts we learned from our first semester, second semester, third semester, and part of our fourth semester. For this particular project, which is a capstone project, whereby we converted a gasoline-operated go-kart into a solar-powered vehicle. So the idea really was to use a lot of the concepts from strength of materials, understanding how welding and CNC, how all those components play a role in building this particular structure. So up top here, we have our solar panel, which actually captures the array of light charges the battery uh, in the back that we see here and underneath of course it has electric motor that is being turned by a chain so the students really designed this and built it 
on their own. And one of the advantages of this particular project is it allows to foster teamwork and also be able to hone in on some of the concepts that they've learned throughout the semesters to be able to build a product which we see right now.